let's talk about our feelings. Pathos is the emotional appeal used in persuasive speaking. The other two common appeals are logos and ethos. Logos is logical reasoning using facts and statistics, and ethos is an appeal to credibility, trustworthiness, and goodwill. So between the three, pathos is generally the toughest for speakers to use. Ethos and logos come pretty naturally to us. Generally, we like logical reasons to back up an argument and we rely on our own personal experience. But pathos takes some real effort. So today I wanna to focus on a couple different emotions that might help persuade your audience and some tips for getting your audience to feel those emotions. Let's start with anger. Sorry. An easy way to make you feel, your audience feel angry is help them feel like something's being taken away from them or that they're being taken advantage of. Patrick Henry did this in his speech, uh, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death, that he delivered to a group of colonists in 1775, and he wanted them to be angry, and that would motivate them to break away from England, and this was during the American Revolution. What he did was he included a list of rhetorical questions that got his audience thinking, and that riled them up and got them angrier and angrier and angrier. He said, is this the life you want? Is this really what you want for the rest of your days to be a prisoner to England, to be a slave to them? And the audience is thinking, no, this isn't what I want. Of course I don't want this. So one way that you might get your audience angry is ask them a list of rhetorical questions to which the answer is obviously no. And they won't say that out loud because it's a rhetorical question, but they'll be thinking it and it will help bring up those emotions of anger. If you want to make your audience feel afraid or worried, provide them with what if situations that personally affect them or the people that they love. I always think about minivan commercials that make us feel fearful or worried. Generally, a minivan commercial starts off with a what if situation. What if something happened to your child, to your spouse, to your grandparent? Well, you don't have to worry about that if you're safe and secure in this minivan. So think about making it personal. What can, or how can your audience be affected? Or how can someone they love be affected? How does this issue touch them? That helps them to care about your issue. Sadness. Now again, sadness is um, an easier emotion to make your audience feel because it's negative. So these negative emotions, fear, worry, anger, and sadness might be your go-to if you're struggling with how to get your audience to connect emotionally. Sometimes sadness is easy to convey if you tell a real story. This real story could be about you or it could be about someone else. Maybe you read it in your research, but it should be a real story about a real person because real stories connect us to other people. And we feel the same feelings that those people feel in that story. We empathize with what happened to them. This would be a good place to use images if you're using a visual aid. Um, a lot of sad images can draw up those feelings of sadness in your audience. And my last tip for you for sadness is to choose your language carefully so that you have maximum impact on your audience. I'll give you two scenarios. One in which I didn't choose the language carefully. I didn't really think out um, what I was going to say. And then a second that I did carefully craft my language to really impact my audience. Scenario one. My dog died and I was really sad. Scenario two. Yesterday I picked up my dog's food bowl and I went to fill it with kibbles and I listened for the jingling of her collar as she ran down the stairs. But all I heard was silence. And as I set the bowl down, I realized I didn't have to do that anymore. Wow, if you're not crying right now, you have no soul. Now, of course, it's sad to say my dog died, but so much sadder to feel that moment of emptiness. So how can you make us feel those emotions. Don't just tell us that you're sad. Make us feel the sadness. Finally, happiness. Like I said, positive emotions are a little bit tougher to make your audience feel than negative emotions. But you can do something similar here to sadness by painting a picture with your words. Instead of saying, 
a heartwarming family holiday. Describe what that holiday looks like. You walk in the door and you're ambushed. Your senses are overwhelmed by the smells of cinnamon and the noise of your family laughing and talking way too loud. And you can just see the soft snow falling in the distance and your dog curled up by the cozy fire. Well, that is so much warmer of an image than just saying, I was glad to be home for the holiday. Sometimes a feeling that's an offshoot of happiness like nostalgia or remembering a fonder time can be easy to get your audience to feel happy. So a couple of tips for you as we wrap up pathos. Choose the emotion purposely. Choose what you want your audience to feel. Do you want them to be worried or afraid? Do you want them to be happy or stressed out? You have to choose that emotion and then integrate your pathos uh, purposefully. I would recommend moving from one emotion to another. This often has a really strong impact in persuasive speaking, especially how this speech is set up with problem and solution. Well, your problem should have a very negative tone or feeling to it, and your solution should be the bright, hopeful future that we have to look forward to. So you could move us from worry to hope, from fear to confidence, or from sadness to joy. Right now, if you watch any commercial during COVID-19, businesses are doing this. They start off by saying, this is an uncertain time. You're feeling disconnected from family. You're worried about your health and your loved ones. But there's hope ahead because Office Max is here for you. Taco John's is here for you. H&M is here for you. Any myriad of businesses is doing this. They have a nice piano tone at the beginning and then they lead you into this dark um, place, which is where we are right now, to be honest, but they're using that in their persuasion. And they're saying, our business can help you reconnect with people. It can help you see the hopeful light of day at the end of this dark tunnel. So use that, move from a negative emotion to a positive. Finally, you should mimic the emotion in your tone. Now, don't rely on this alone. You do need to use the other tips that I've given you, but hopefully you notice that with each emotion, I was trying to mimic that in my tone and in my facial expressions. When I was talking about anger, I actually moved closer to the camera. Be intimidating, be in your audience's face. If you're talking about sadness, slow down. Use pauses purposefully. If you want your audience to feel anxious or worried, you need to speed up your speech so that they're going along with you. So mimic that emotion in your tone as well. Hopefully these tips on pathos helped you out so that you can convince your audience and persuade them using emotions.